Starting June 1st, Hickey Freeman clothing will no longer be made in the city of Rochester. Production being moved to Mexico. However, the owner of the factory will start producing Rochester tailored goods. Dan Gross has more on how this all happened. The decision was announced this week. Come June 1st, Hickey Freeman clothes will no longer be made in Rochester. Luxury Men's Apparel owns the Hickey Freeman assets, but not the brand. They licensed the brand through Authentic Brands Group. That license ran out at the end of December. CEO of Hickey Freeman, Stephen Granofsky, said negotiations started in the spring of 2022 for renewal, then. Authentic Brands made a decision early fall which frankly caught us off guard, to not proceed with us and not renew, and instead signed a license with another company that is going to import the product at a much cheaper price. Uh, they're gonna sell $600 suits instead of $2,000 suits um, and make them in Mexico. The current North Clinton Road factory will be rebranded as Rochester Tailored Clothing and will make clothes more like the old Hickey Freeman brand, luxury suits and more. All of the workers at the North Clinton factory are keeping their jobs. Rochester really is a one-of-a-kind factory now. And so the demand for our factory has been, since the pandemic ended, off the charts. In fact, our biggest problem is a lack of workers, not a lack of demand. But there is still one more chance for you to buy Hickey Freeman clothes made in Rochester. Their factory store is opening on Union and Broad Street May 25th. At this new store, they will have a blowout four-day sale of Hickey Freeman goods until Memorial Day before selling new Rochester tailored clothing goods. Reporting in Rochester, Dan Gross, News 8. Thanks, Dan. That new store will be open Thursdays through Sundays. In part of a statement, Rochester Mayor Malik Evans says the company's decision to keep making clothes in Rochester is a, quote, testament to the determination and diligence of Rochester's highly skilled workforce and the many other economic advantages our city has to offer.